You can easily mess up your website and your analytics data if you don't install Google Tag Manager correctly. In this episode, I'll show you how to install Google Tag Manager correctly into your website. In this episode, I'll show you how to take Google Tag Manager that already has the Google Analytics tag integrated into it. If you haven't done this already, please feel free to check out the previous episode where I'll show you how to set up Google Tag Manager and integrate Google Analytics into it. What I'm going to then show you is how to put Google Tag Manager directly into your website's source code. I'm also going to show you how to do this in WordPress through both a direct implementation into the code and also through the Google Tag Manager for WordPress plugin. And I'm also going to show you how to do this in both Squarespace and Wix.com. We're going to start off today inside Google Tag Manager. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is that we're going to need to get our Google Tag Manager integration code out of your Google Tag Manager container that you want to connect to your website. How do you do that? Well, it's quite easy. You simply go over to the Google Tag Manager or GTM dash and then a bunch of letters and numbers. It'll be sitting beside the preview button inside your container. You simply click on that and that will open up a little window that will give you two pieces of code. One will be an integration code for your website header and second is a backup integration code for websites that have JavaScript disabled. All right, as an example, I'm going to show you how to do this on my own personal website, jamesbanks.co. Uh, this is locked behind a domain lock as of this recording. Now this is a WordPress website, but if we open up the actual website's source code, you can see it renders out in HTML and CSS. I'm going to just move over and open up that uh, HTML source code I've shown you here. Basically what you wanna do is uh, with that integration code that I've retrieved from Google Tag Manager, you're gonna to wanna to put this as high up in the head of the website as possible. I personally put it above the site title right here. And secondly, you're going to want to place that backup script for sites that have JavaScript disabled from or just underneath the actual opening body tag in the website. An easy way to find this stuff uh, is you can just do a control search and do arrow body to get us to that exact location. And I've dropped in that script directly underneath that opening body tag there. In the instance of an actual WordPress website, which is what my website actually really is, it's, it's actually a WordPress website. I'm just running the bare bones, basic out of the box WordPress 2019 theme. I've now configured a child theme, which means any changes that I make in here won't hard overwrite the actual core theme. This is a WordPress best practice to ensure when your core themes are updated, you're not having your changes wiped and having to re-add in Google Tag Manager every single time you update your theme, which would be absolute nuisance. I have the child theme already set up. I'm now going to open up the header PHP file. I've moved it from the parent theme to the child theme folder. So what I'm gonna do, exactly how I did it with the HTML website, I'm gonna take that head uh, code from Google Tag Manager. I'm going to place that just after the meta uh, titles and profiling information in the head of the website right here. Then second, I'm going to place the backup script, the no script, just after that opening first body tag in the website, which is right here. All right. I'm gonna save that now. That's going to push it into the web server. Refresh the page. Next, I'm gonna open up the website source code again. I can already see it here because of the tags. If you have a, you know, a large source code file, a quick and easy way to find if it's actually worked is just control F and then type in GTM. You can see there we've got the head tag deployed correctly in the right place. And also the no script uh, has been deployed directly after the opening body tag. So that's also in the right place. How we want to double check that is we're gonna go back to Tag Manager. We're gonna hit the preview button, which is next to the submit button. That's gonna now reload Google Tag Manager in the preview mode. Now what I'm going to do now, preview mode is enabled, is go back to my website where I have Google Tag Manager installed, refresh the page, and we'll now see the Tag Manager's preview window, window fire at the bottom of the page. So what does this information mean? Well, number one, it's showing us that Google Tag Manager is actually working because if Google Tag Manager wasn't working, this window would not appear on the page. Second, we can also see that the universal analytics tag that we have installed in Google Tag Manager has fired successfully on 
this page, which means two things. Google Tag Manager is working correctly, and also Google Analytics is collecting the user information from this website correctly as well. Another way to check to make sure everything is working well, there is something called the Tag Manager Assistant. It's a browser app for Chrome only. You can download and install this in your Chrome browser. Basically what you wanna do is turn it on and then turn on the actual recording of the widget there. Then once that's recording, I'm now reloading the page and I can see now if I open up that Tag Manager Assistant that number one, Tag Manager is firing. It's got a little smiley face there, which means it's working. And number two, Google Analytics is firing too. So uh, a cool tip with this, you can actually run this test with the Tag Manager Assistant on any website. You don't have to own the website. You can have it on uh, anyone's. You can look at your competitors to see which tags they're firing on your website to get a bit of uh, intelligence on what your competitors are doing. Now, before we move on, one last thing I want to do to make sure that this is indeed working correctly is I'm actually gonna go over to my Google Analytics profile. I'm gonna open up the real-time overview report and I can see it's counting one person on this website. And that one person is obviously me because there's no one else that has access to this website aside from me. And it's geographed, tagged me in the correct area. So I know that's me and it's working. I just showed you how to install Google Tag Manager directly into your website's source code. Next, I'll show you how to do this in WordPress through a plugin. Let's get the plugin set up. Basically, you wanna to go to the plugin section, add plugins, and you wanna search Google Tag Manager. The first one that comes up should be the uh, Duracell Tomy's uh, Google Tag Manager for WordPress by Thomas uh, Geiger. This is the one we recommend using as the plugin it does the job. So I've got the Tag Manager for WordPress plugin installed. I'm going to go down to the settings of that. And all you have to do, well, there's two things you have to do. First, you gotta get your actual Google Tag Manager ID. So once you've got that, you're going to go and paste that in to the plugin uh, Google Tag Manager ID settings. There's a number of ways this plugin can uh, pass the Google Tag Manager code into your website. Codeless injection is the one that I always recommend going with first. That way you don't actually have to do anything. You can just simply set codeless injection, save it. And once that's then saved, you can go back to your website and go through the same process we did before from Google Tag Manager. We enabled the preview window and reloaded the page. We can see that the Google Tag Manager code is firing correctly and also Analytics is firing correctly and also showing me active right now in the real-time Google Analytics view on the website. Next, let's move on to how to install Google Tag Manager into Squarespace. All right, so here I am inside my Squarespace control panel. What you're going to do once you're here is go into your settings, advanced code injection. Keep in mind, if you wanna install Google Tag Manager into Squarespace, you're going to need the premium plan to do this. As you can see here, I have placed the two scripts that we used in our direct implementation. The head code has gone into the header section in the Squarespace editor, and the uh, body backup no script code has gone into the footer section. Although this is not semantically the right place to do it, it does actually work. Fine, once that has been saved, I'm going to go back and now open up my website into the full view here. I'm gonna now enable preview mode again in Google Tag Manager. All right, so I've reloaded the page. I can see that the uh, Google Tag Manager container is working correctly. It's showing the preview window and also Google Analytics is loading into the website correctly here as well. Finally, I'll show you how to install Google Tag Manager into your Wix website. All right, now from my Wix dashboard, I'm going to go to Settings, Tracking and Analytics. You can simply go to New Tools and Google Tag Manager has a, uh, or Wix has a pre-built Google Tag Manager tool uh, in the platform. So all you would need to do, just like how we did in the WordPress plugin, is grab your uh, Google Tag Manager ID. And then I'm going to drop it into the uh, Wix pop-up here, hit Apply, as you can see, you can turn it on and off, but that's essentially it. Once it's installed, it will go into your Wix source code in the correct place, set and forget, and you're up and running. So there you have it. That was how to install Google Tag Manager correctly into your website. If you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager, then we'll be releasing an episode for the next couple of weeks all about this subject. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the latest episodes about Google Tag Manager. As always, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section below if uh, you have any questions regarding Google Tag Manager. I'd be more than happy to answer them and help you out. And if you need help with Google Tag Manager and growing your business, feel free to check out my digital agency, Web3. I'm James Banks from Web3, and I'll see you in the next episode.